Electronic Arts Biggest Game of the Year hits store shelves tomorrow, but the excitement about Star Wars Battlefront 2 isn't at the levels the publisher might like, and the game's losing goodwill rapidly. A vocal group of players have expressed concerns, and outrage, about part of Battlefront 2's business model, which involves encouraging people to pay extra to speed up the process of unlocking certain heroes in the game. The issue came to a head Sunday, when a person on Reddit launched a thread titled Seriously. I paid $80 to have Vader locked? Someone in the A's community department tried to offer an explanation, only for the comment to become the most downvoted comment in the history of Reddit. At mid-morning Monday, its score was minus 306,000. For context, the previous record for Reddit's most downvoted comment was minus 24,000. EA has big expectations for Battlefront 2. So do analysts. Mike Hickey of Benchmark says he expects the game to sell 14 million copies, more than twice the number this year's new Madden game is expected to sell. The issue is a play mechanic called Loot Crates. They're unpopular, especially among core players, but they're immensely profitable and are becoming more and more common in today's games. The thinking behind them is a bit complex. Many video game publishers would argue that most players don't have the time to put the hours into a game that are required to unlock bonus characters. So, rather than have them potentially lose interest as other players do, publishers let them access them early, for a cost. EA says the reason players have to wait to unlock a character like Darth Vader or Luke Skywalker in Battlefront 2 is to instill a sense of pride when they do so. But it's not that simple. In older games, if you played for a certain amount of time or hit certain achievements in the game, more powerful characters would unlock. There was no randomness to it. Loot crates introduce that randomness. Players who put in a certain number of play hours might get the chance to buy a loot crate that may or may not give them the character they want. There's no guarantee. It's a tool that is designed specifically to both generate recurring revenue for publishers and ensure players spend more time with the games. Loot crates are an annoyance, but is it something that gamers really take seriously? Apparently so, and some take it much too far. One EA developer says he has received death threats and over 1,500 personal attacks, presumably tied to the ongoing outrage. So I'm up to 7 death threats, and over 1,600 individual personal attacks now, and yes, for legal reasons I'm keeping track. And why, you might ask. Because of an unpopular feature in a game. Sean